Dylan, what brings me to my next point? Don't smoke crack. Oh, uh, you must be smoking crack if you don't think the Giants are going to win today. This is Tim. This is your Giants Straight Talk. Powered by online Big Blue LLC. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied there. Doing this video before I head out to the Giant game. Um, can't wait to get out there. Gonna, uh, getting out there early. Uh, I have to be at the stadium at 3.45 p.m. for an 8.25 kickoff because I will be on the field helping unfurl the American flag for the 9-11 ceremony. Um, so... Very excited about that. Very happy about that. Uh, looking forward to meeting a bunch of people that are coming out. We got, we got some, like I said, we got some guests coming out from lens far away. But I wanted to do this video real quick because we had some news. And I just wanted to have a video so we could do our, um, I found a uh, Eli Manning replica Super Bowl ring, 2011. So we, like we do every Every Sunday at, on Sunday Giant at 10 a.m., we give away that ring by having people guess the score of the game. If you guess the score correctly, you win the Eli Manning 2011 Super Bowl replica ring. So in the comments section below this video or podcast, whatever the hell you want to call it, leave your score. And once again, if we have people with, the, you know, if we have two people that win or two people that guess the same answer and you both win, you both get the ring. So make sure you guess your score. Do it now while this video is going on or else. Well, there really is nowhere else. So we got some injury news. Jones to Walla, Walla, Walla. First down. Uh, Mr. Waller evidently has got a little bit of a sore hammy. No other tight end at the moment has been elevated. And this is, this is early, so uh, that could change. But he should be good to go. He's listed as questionable. I mean, I... I if you're probable or questionable, you're going to go. If you're doubtful or out, that's normally when you're not going to play. So will he be on a pitch count? Mm, I don't know. We got to wait and see. We got to wait and see what the weather's going to be like. If it's a cold night, if it's a rainy night, he may be on a little bit of a pitch count only because of the fact that anyone who's had a hamstring injury will tell you, you know, inclement weather, especially cold and wet weather can actually affect the hamstring. If you do not keep it wrapped and you do not keep it warm, uh, but I, I, I would I would expect him to participate fully in this in this key matchup week one Sunday night prime time against the vaunted Cowboys. We did a video why I gave him why I gave what I thought would be the keys to the game. You know what would be. Um, you know we talked about the second. I, I basically said that both secondaries are going to be the key to this matchup. And, and honestly, I haven't really changed on that. But if I'm the Giants, especially depending on what the weather looks like, it's going to be, I, I would pull. A, I would pull a Herman Munster. Run, run, run. Uh, I'll let the uh, I'll let the young folks Google that. Um, that's what, that's what I would do. I I would just ground and pound, ground and pound, play defense, keep the clock rolling, do a little Dallas Supremian, you know, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Just keep the clock rolling. Keep the the, the keep the, the the ball away from Dak and, and, and that offense. Um, because you don't need the likes of Pollard and CeeDee Lamb and Gallup and and Cooks and you know everyone else getting getting out there. You know, let let's just let's just make this game easy and simple. You know, let's let's control the clock, let's control the time of possession, let's play good defense and limit the opportunities that we give Dallas for big plays. And let's make sure we keep the ball. We keep the ball secure. We don't commit that, that costly turnover that will potentially lead to a score. And uh, on the defensive end, let's, let's hope that we can go out and, and potentially cause a turnover that can lead to a score. But like I said, if it's me, I mean, and I'm not Kafka, I'm not Dable. I it's Monday night. Excuse me. It's Sunday night. It's a home game. It's a big game. It's a divisional game. You need to do everything you potentially can to secure this win. I'm I'm not under this belief that this is the biggest game. I always hear this is the biggest game of the season. Oh, let's, let's do it on the radio, folks. This is the biggest game of the season. Uh, no, I, I don't count week one as the biggest game of the season because I'm going to tell you this right now. If you're a Giant fan, if you lose week one, what by de facto becomes the next biggest game of the season. The next big game of the season is week two. Is it nice to get a win? Yes. It's a nice to get a divisional win. Yes. You also have to remember, we only had one divisional win last year and still made the playoffs. Will that happen again? No, probably not, but I'm not going to put all my eggs in the Dallas basket. I want to win. 
I want to see a win. But if we don't get a win, I'm not going to get there and tell you the season's over because next week is the biggest game of the season. Uh, It's just the way it is. That's football. But if I'm the Giants, like I said, ground to pound, you know, if we can, if we can go two to one on minutes in possession, you know, let's double the possession time in reference to the Cowboys. Let's keep this. Let's, let's not get into a shootout. Let's keep this like a 17, 10 game, a 21, 17 game. Let's control the clock. Try to score. Let's not, I mean, Graham Gano signed the big contract, but let's not, let's not, you know, let's not rely on the Ganoster. Let's not rely on gano Let's just grind it out. Get in the red zone. Convert once we convert to six when we get into that red zone and push the, and push the Cowboys that way. And let's try to push them around on defense. You know what? You got to try to push these guys around on defense a little bit. You got to hit Dak. Dak Prescott in a lot of ways is like Tom Brady. You got to hit him in the mouth. You got to hit him in the mouth. You got to rattle him. You got to pressure him because that's when he falls and that's when he makes that big mistake. So I'm sitting here thinking as I'm getting ready to depart, R0B sitting there going, what am I going to do on Sunday, man? I I don't have a show to do. How how else am I going to blame Bobby Johnson for everything? But I'm sitting here thinking, what what is the outcome of this game going to be? And now, of course, I'm a Giant fan and I'm going to the game, so it's you know it's going to be a blowout. We're going to win this game 107 to six. That, of course, is not the case. But I do think this is a Giant win, and I'm going to go with 21 17 G men. I think this is going to be a, a typical Dallas Giant game where we have a low scoring first half. You know, maybe like a 10 9 first hat or something like that. And then we're going to pick up, so you know, we're going to get a couple points on some turnovers, on a turnover or something. And I, I'm ho- I don't think this is going to come down to the final drive for the Giants. I think the Giants are going to move forward. I think the Giants are going to sally forward and they're going to turn around. And I was going to, I'm going to say probably score early in the second half and lead through the rest of the way and play quality defense at the end and stop the Cowboys from having that game winning drive. So I'm going 21, 17 G men. If you're going to be out of the game, Hey, listen, hit me up on uh, Twitter. It's online. Big blue one. Send me a message. Where are you going to be? Love to hang out. I'm going to, I'm going to be trying to bounce around. I'm not tailgating because I'm going to be bouncing around from tailgate to tailgate, eating everyone's food, drinking everyone's beer. So, you know what? If you want to invite me, come right ahead because you know what? I'm an easy guest. Uh, also, bringing the big El Gigante with us. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. He's also going to be helping out with the flag ceremony. So, um, you know, let, let's, let's, let's get this win. Let's move forward. NFL season started on Thursday. Let's continue it and let's move forward. Let's get the win. And again, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because you want to know why. Oh, that'd be awesome.